What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Escapist. Uh, in the last episode, we finished off Alcatraz Island. So now, we're going to try the escape team. Now the escape team is kind of different from Alcatraz Island because it's not your typical prison. It's more of a uh, specialty prison because it's basically A-team themed. So, put in my name. You can't customize your appearance or your any anyone in the prison. It's all set to a certain... It's all set to a certain... Uh, how would you say? Outcome. But yeah, this is the escape team, and we're getting into it now. Okay, so our main objective here is obviously to escape, but there's certain things you have to do. If you're reading this letter, then our man on the inside didn't die in vain. This place is going to take some serious work on your part to bust loose from this place. One thing our man told us is that some items you need emphasis on need he made sure were marked out so that you could identify their locations as seen in the picture the little um, Polaroid at the bottom of the note uh, previous intelligence suggests that there are enough items for you to seek out and use to force an escape good luck keep your eyes open it's always an option to tank your way out of here so basically we got to find those little boxes that have that mark on them and yeah, there's only four of us, and I, th I think there's about ten guards. But yeah, just like um, Alcatraz Island, we're gonna we're gonna look for as much as many forks as possible, and duct tape. We need duct tape. Okay, so that's a pretty good start. See, it's diff this is different from the other prisons in the game because essentially you're not looking for items to like chip away the wall or go into the vents, you know, dig out or anything because that's not that's not going to work this time. What you're basically doing is you're going around looking for those boxes so that you can uh Assemble a tank to escape out of here with. And seeing as how we have no toilets in here, you have to come down here and there are a lot of toilets. So every toilet has three slots that you can hide stuff in. Be careful not to flush though. And just like every other prison, it's um... A good idea to maximize your skills as fast as possible. And unfortunately, it's work period. So I'm gonna do some work period, and I'm the janitor. The janitor job in this prison takes a little less time than in any other prison. But the thing is, it only pays $10. Whereas everyone else's job pays about $30. But you can get this done in like no time. Basically just stick with this main building. So it's kind of pointless for me to like cut this section out. Because usually in the other prisons when I was uh, cutting stuff out. Anyway. Uh, neighbor's car alarm keep, keeps going off because they let their fucking toddlers play with their keys. Retarded. Anyway. As I was saying, the reason I was cutting out a lot of the stuff in the other prisons is because I was mostly just working out. 
and doing the job, so I cut all that out. This time, however, I will be doing my job and working out, building my uh, intelligence at the same time as looking for materials to help me escape. So it's not really a very tedious task, so I don't really have to cut anything out. So basically you're seeing everything like unedited. And let's just see how fast we can get out of this prison. I want to get my strength up a whole bunch because there's a lot of shit we have to cover. Midday roll call, okay. So yes, this down here is the tank that you have to you have to to build in order to escape. And now we need the makeshift tank turret. So to make the and then to make that we need the makeshift tank firing base, the makeshift tank barrel, and duct tape. Now the thing is, we have to make all of that out of base materials. I can do that. What do I mean by base materials? Like, you have to find two or three smaller, smaller items, craft them into different items, and then craft several of those items into those final tank parts, and then craft all those together into the, the actual thing you're trying to make. I'm on the lookup for a foil. I could probably help you with that. So it, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but just keep... You don't necessarily need stuff like um, files. You, you'll mostly need duct tape because like making a shovel won't do you any good in this. Making a pickaxe won't do you any good in this. So essentially all you're really looking for is duct tape. And stuff to break walls with. <laughs> okay, so as you see, there's one here, and I don't know how to get in there, so we're gonna have to, like, break through this wall. Uh, I, I seen another one down here during my, my stream, because I streamed this for about 20 minutes, and then I got called out to work on short notice, so there's one here. But it's so much better playing this game when you're not live because it just makes everything more... It just makes everything run a lot smoother, I, I think. Okay, so... There's Andy. Where's Cage? Because Cage is uh, the Mr. T character. Come here, you. Did he not need the file? Give a, fo a foil to Cage. I did that. Weird. Anyway. Let's go look for anything else we can find. Alright, there's one here. So we're definitely going to have to break through this wall. We don't want to go in there because guards patrol in there a lot. And we need a red key to get in there. And there's one there, so we might break through that wall because I don't feel like getting a bunch of red keys. <clears throat> Alright. So let's continue. Did I search all of these already? I don't think I finished. More duct tape. Oh, he knows I'm in here. Fuck. Okay. Let's 
keep searching these desks. Nothing. I might have already searched that one, that's why. It looked like there was something missing from that. Two forks. Hmm. So we'll need posters. Obviously. So I might want to work on some uh, intelligence right now. Evening free period. Okay, so I can basically do whatever I want without any penalty. And uh, see, the thing is, you can't buy anything in this prison. So essentially, any money that you gain from working is completely useless. Like, I guess you could give it to the guards to get them off, like, more... to gain their, like, respect a little bit, but other than that, money obviously, like, definitely has no purpose in this prison. So we're going to take our duct tape that we got. And yeah, you see the guards coming in here, but they they do not check the toilets, so you can't lose anything you put in there. But yeah, that's basically the standard for this prison. We're going to go shower because it's a quick way to get some stamina back. Besides eating, eating is definitely the fastest way to get stamina. And I think we're going to be getting close to evening roll call. Hmm. Okay. Strength is pretty good, but we want it a little bit higher because I won't really want to fuck one of these guards up so I can get a better weapon. I might also want to get a guard uniform. But these guards, they're not prison guards, they're military guards. So, you know, they, they pack a little bit of a punch. See if we can get to 20. 20 reps. Should be good. Come on. Two more. One. Two. There we go. Good. Let's get to roll call. And that'll be the end of the first night. Which, not a whole lot happened, but... You know, that's the name of the game. This will definitely take a lot longer because you can't buy anything, so. There's a better weapon right there. <clears throat> so I, I actually may be able to take out, take out a guard with these nunchucks, if I can get my speed up a little bit. Yeah, okay, I'm already here. Fuck off. Okay, day two. So basically, at every morning, I will check their boxes because usually they pick up certain things that you can use. And it's always good to check their boxes because it's instantly morning roll call. And you always have to go right to morning roll call and you don't have very much time to come back and check all their boxes. Like, I just got another roll of duct tape, which I'm gonna need. Throw this in there with those two. And now I can go to roll call. Another fork. Fuck, I'm getting a lot of heat.
And remember, it's a good thing not to keep any contraband items in your... in your desk. Keep it all in that toilet. Just because it'll be so much easier for you to get caught if you have a, if you have a whole bunch of shit in your in your desk as opposed to the the toilets. A little bit of time to do some reps. Like another thing I might show is like. I don't think I've done it in any of the other prisons, but you can actually enhance your your, your uniform. So, like, just to give you more... Allow you to take more damage before being knocked out. Let's go for the, the 20 mark. So yeah, that's basically like the first thing you want to do when you start this this prison. Spend the first few days building up your skills, doing your job, um, looting those empty desks as well as your your companions' desks. Make sure you're looking for either forks or uh, duct tape. Basically anything you can break a wall with. You're probably not going to find a uh, crowbar. Unless you want to risk knocking out one of your one of your teammates and checking them, see if what they've got. That's totally up to you, but you know, the less people you have attacking you on a daily basis or like an hourly basis, the easier this will be for you. So basically, keep your your teammates on your side, and you'll have less problems with, like, random attacks. Now, the game definitely lets you be a little lean is a little bit more lenient in this uh, DLC, um, allowing you to stray away from, from responsibilities a little bit more often. Because you don't gain half as much heat in this prison as you do and say, I don't know, HMP Iron Gate, for example. So, like, what basically what I'm talking about is, is like if you if you miss the shower period or lunch or dinner period, then you get less heat than you would in any of the other standard prisons. Okay. See, they're all fighting each other. Always check your... your knocked out companions. Just to see what they have. Andy and Sean, okay. Alright. Now remember, as suspicious as it would be in real life, there's nothing suspicious about having a desk full of forks. Alright, so... Our strength is pretty good, but we want to get the speed up a little bit so we can attack faster and move faster. And then I think we're going to try to knock out a guard. We'll try. I see them. But I'm, I'm allowed to be in here, so they can suck it. To attack pretty fast after we're done with this segment. There we go. It's like 49, so yeah. Let's 
see if we can get this guy. Okay. Dinner. Shit. Alright. I'll use this opportunity to check these desks. tape and a fork. Nice. We have duct tape in one of these two desks. Nope. Last desk. You know what? Posters are kind of easy to find. But yeah, we're not going to worry about exercise period either because we only got th like six. All right. Mix a container. Okay, come with me. Oh shit. All right. This and this and this and this in here. I'm gonna take this, 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 and this. I'm not gonna take the key because I can't make a copy of it right now. That in there. That's full. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's shower period. So if we need the green key, we know where to get it. Alright. Oh, yes. Um, another thing you want to do is make the bed dummy. This is really important. I think I'm about to get like, jumped soon by the guards. Okay. Whoops. No. This, this, and this. There we go. And I can throw this shit back. I might just stay out of the guards' way for now because I'm at 80... over 80% spatula. I don't want it. Wait, I do want that because I want to try to give that to Cage again. And another thing I discovered is you can leave this bed dummy in, in the bed all day and it will not cause any suspicion. They'll just think when they see it they think that you're sleeping in bed. Even if you're like standing right next to the bed. As you can see, this guy's checking toilets. Just not good enough. Really. So yeah. Let's find Cage again. And see if uh, we can actually finish that little job thing. Alright. I'm sure we'll see Cage around somewhere. Get some more distance going. Alright. Want to be able to move fast in this prison. That is for damn sure. 
Okay. Let's build up a little bit of stamina before roll call. I don't want to be very late for roll call because my heat is still pretty high. cage that foil as well. Saw him around here somewhere. It's Andy. There's Cage, there he is. Hey Cage! He's got a screwdriver. Look at that. There, now he accepts it. So I got two of the three guys on my side. Yeah, Sean's a little a little under, but yeah, still not enough to attack me. Cage and Andy. Yeah, that's it. That's safe. 